on the boat. IDLC and DFP. Um, who's familiar with this? Any magic carpet lectures out there uh, people have been to? OK, if I said, if you called the ball and you heard 40 knots, 42 knots starboard, would it make you nervous? Well, this control scheme makes it easy. Uh, what IDLC is is integrated direct lift control. And what that means is the throttle just doesn't control the engine. It controls the lift and the wing. So you are directly affecting almost instantaneously your glide slope with throttle control. You couple that with DFP, which is delta flight path. Delta flight path is a flight control scheme that essentially uh, flies a very precise glide slope for you when it's engaged. And that's programmable. So most of the time, our basic angle is set at 3.5 degrees, so we have 3.5 degrees set in there. Uh, if you're low, in this case, um, you're basically hands off. But if you do find yourself low, let's say a ball low, then you pull back on the stick until you see a center ball, and then you release, and the ball should stay centered. Uh, it has gust rejection for the burble. It, um, it knows the winds because it has an INS system, and it's always calculating the winds. The only thing you need to do is plug in ship speed. If you plug in ship speed, then it can do all the math for you. I mean, it has an ace of radar for crying out loud. It should be able to figure this stuff out. It's just basic trigonometry. And so uh, we've instituted this flight control mechanism in the airplane, and we flew it on DT-1. And I'm telling you, from the pilot's perspective, if you've been in the cockpit for six or eight hours and you just want to get aboard at night, you're going to want Delta Flight Path because it is very low workload. You essentially just engage it with the nozzle steering button and you're on that three and a half degree uh, glide slope and you just make small deviations as required. If you're 42 knots starboard, you might have to make three corrections. You feel the airplane working. The airplane's working a lot, but you're doing very little except for staring at a center ball. From the LSO perspective, they've said it looks a lot like a mode one approach. So it's very stabilized, a very low workload for the pilot. The HUD symbology is a little different. Um, because this is more applicable. Basically, right here, you have a, uh, a glide slope reference line. So the big joke with the Hornet, the old guys kind of tell us, oh, all you do is put the thing on the thing, and that's it. Well, now you just put the thing on the thing on the thing. And essentially, you will be flying a precise 3.5 glide slope to touchdown, whether or not the lens is even on. So we're making it. We know the geometry. We know the winds. We know the ship speed. If you put this uh, glide slope reference line on the lens itself and the SRVV, the ship reference velocity vector, on the ship, then you will land with the center ball. I know there are a lot of skeptics out here, but it works. And uh, it's, it's really nice. <laughs>